Sassy Squad, it's Sasha. Today I'm going to be doing a glam makeup look for maybe prom or whatever special occasion you could go to. This look is perfect for that, I think. And if you want to recreate it, then tag me in a photo or you could put it on Twitter and yeah, tag me in it because I would like to see how you recreate it if you want to. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Put in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. Disclaimer, I forgot to show the uh, winged eyeliner. But if you want to see a tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner or foundation or anything like that, then put a comment down below and I would be so happy to do it for you guys. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. If you are new here, hi, I'm Tasha. I hope you stick around. You could subscribe and I upload videos every Saturday. So yeah, um, I also have a very special surprise at the end of the video. So if you want to see that special surprise, then stick till the end of the video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Then tag me in a photo or you could put it on Twitter and yeah, tag me in it because I would like to see how you recreate it if you want to. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Put in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. Disclaimer, I forgot to show the uh, winged eyeliner. But if you want to see a tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner or foundation or anything like that, then put a comment down below and I would be so happy to do it for you guys. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. If you are new here, hi, I'm Tasha. I hope you stick around. You could subscribe and I upload videos every Saturday. So yeah, um, I also have a very special surprise at the end of the video. So if you want to see that special surprise, then stick till the end of the video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm now going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Stick Concealer and I'm just going to be putting it on my eyelid as a primer for the eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to be setting that with my Maybelline Dream Powder. I'm now going to be taking my Lorac Pro To Go palette and I'm going to be using the color um, shell and I'm going to be putting that on my eye as a base. I'm now going to be taking the color cafe and I'm going to be putting that in the outer crease with a very light hand and I'm going to be just putting it slowly into the inner crease very slowly and all this is going to be blended out a lot because it is a very smoky kind of look in the crease but also it's like a neutral smoky so that's what I'm going to be doing and yeah, I realized I had more time for this clip so uh, yeah I'm now going to be taking the color Lumiere from the Benefit Paris uh, palette and I'm going to be putting that all over the lid for like a shimmery pink champagne color. Well, that's what the color is. <laughs> I'm now going to be taking that color. I forgot what it was called because my finger was covering it up, but... I think I just showed it to you, uh, oh, it's, yeah, I can't really see what it's called, I think it's called Chai, but anyway, it's a kind of shimmery, um, brown, more brown color than the other one, and I'm putting that also in the crease just to make it a little more shimmery. As you could see before, I was having trouble with it, but, um, now I'm going to be taking the color black from the pro to go palette and putting that, yeah, that, we get it, okay. Um, I'm going to be putting that in the outer crease, but as you can see, it's very, very pigmented and very black, so I'm just going to be taking, after that, a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to just be blending, blending, blending it out until it softens up a little bit. And I'm going to be doing that with a more rough kind of hand because I need it to be all blended out, just like the other eye. I'm 
now going to be taking the color Versailles, I think that's what it's called. It's a white, shimmery, bright color and putting it somewhat on the inner lids just to brighten up the whole look and make me like less tired, I guess, or just like to brighten it up. I don't really think it should be called like less tired, just to brighten it up. So then I'm going to be taking that white color from the Pro to Go palette and also putting that on top of what I just put on and under my brow bone and in the tear duct on my eye. Then I'm going to be taking that color, I forgot what it's called, I think it's Cafe, and putting it on my lash line just to, you know, blend it a little bit. Um, and then I think I was taking that blacker color and putting it on my lash line with my finger so it's not that harsh. was just tempting to do it on camera but that didn't really work out so well so honey I'm just going to use a mirror as I always do which was the best idea to do that or the better idea so sorry that the mirror is um covering it up but uh covering the camera up but now I'm going to be taking the my most all-time favorite mascara and I mentioned this in another video it's my favorite and it's going to be putting it on my lashes as you can see obviously because where else would I put it that'd be kind of weird if I put it somewhere else but um put it on my eyelashes on my bottom lashes and yeah also I forgot to show my eyeliner but again if you want to see how I do it then leave a comment down below where am I not okay you know what I have no idea where I'm going. Anastasia Brow Wiz, and this is the more thicker one because it has more of a uh, slant to it, but I'm just going to be filling it in and the gaps where I need it, and yes, I know, I do need to get my brows done. Now I'm going to be taking the same concealer and just putting it on any blemishes I need to cover up. Now I'm going to just be baking my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to be putting it, um, I'm going to be putting it with my, I'm going to be putting it on my beauty blender and then I'm just going to be putting it on my T-zone. And under my eyes, next to my nose, on my chin, there, yeah, on my T-zone, wherever I get away. I've now waited 5 to 10 minutes and I'm going to just be gently with a light hand just brushing it off. And now I'm going to be taking the Tarte Lush in Exposed and I'm going to be putting it on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose just to add some color to my face. And I'm just going to be setting the um, translucent powder with the Maybelline Dream powder. And also on my blemishes because I forgot to do that.
Then I'm going to be taking the Benefit Paris um, bronzer, and I think the color is in rouge, and I'm just going to be contouring it down my temples, um, on my forehead, and yeah, just wherever you see that I am contouring. Then I'm going to be using the MAC Soft and Gentle um, highlighter, and I'm going to be just highlighting it everywhere. I want the sun to hit me. Now I'm going to be doing the lips, so I'm going to be using the Rosal just to moisturize it before I do anything else with myself, and I'm going to, yeah, just be putting it on my lips. Um, and yeah, that was obviously a fail, but <laughs> I'm going to be using the Kylie uh, Jenner, it's the lip liner. I forgot what color it is in, but I think you could tell what color it's in. It's like a dark pinkish, like, nude color, and it's going to be lining it. A tiny bit overlining it, just a tiny slight bit, I don't want it to be too extreme, because uh, that would not look cute. Um, but now, anyway, I'm going to be taking the matte gloss and it's in the same color and just be putting it on my lips but not too much because i'm going to be using a, two other uh lip glosses and just blending it with my blending it what no putting it in with my finger <laughs> blending really sasha no now i'm going to be taking the chocolate melted um yeah just the melted lip gloss or a lipstick in chocolate and I'm going to be putting it on my lips just to make it a little pinkish um, brownish but you get what I'm doing I, th I think <laughs> I just wanted to have an undertone of pink but with like a brownish nudie undertone sort of whatever um, <laughs> then I'm going to be taking vintage by Jessica, I forgot her last name, and just putting it a little bit on there to make it a little more plump. If you liked it, if you did once again, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And now, on to the surprise. So, I'm having a spring giveaway, and I will put the rules down in the description, and I will put it up on the screen here so you could see it. So, there are going to be three winners and one for Instagram and one for YouTube obviously so the one for Twitter you are going to be winning this Wonderstruck Taylor Swift perfume and for the YouTube winner you are going to be winning the Naked 3 palette and you're also going to be winning the MAC um, Soft and Gentle. It's the Mineralized Skin Finish um, Highlighter, and I used this in my video here, and it is my holy grail. I cannot go without this for a day. It's like, it's gorgeous, it's so natural, and it looks amazing. So the YouTube winner is going to be winning these two, and for the Instagram winner, you, it's already packaged, so it's, I don't want to take it out of the package, so it's the Naked uh, Smoky palette, and yeah, you can see it's in the package, and then you're also going to be winning, oh, by the way, I forgot for the um, Twitter giveaway, with the perfume, you're also going to be winning this $25 Starbucks gift card, oh, and now for the Instagram giveaway, you're going to be winning this, and this $75 Sephora gift card. So for the YouTube winner or the YouTube giveaway, you have to comment down below what you're excited for for this spring. And so the rules for the YouTube giveaway, you must be subscribed to this channel. You also maybe could get me to 2,000 subscribers and you also should subscribe to Peachy Mary. Um, and you should also subscribe to Pink Ayla. Her, both of their channels will be linked down below so you could subscribe to both of them. But also subscribe to me to get me to 2,000 subscribers. And you also should comment down below what you're most excited for this spring. And now for the Twitter giveaway, you, for the Twitter giveaway, just 
take a screenshot, any screenshot from this video, and say why you want to win the Twitter giveaway. And yeah, um, I don't really want any like spammers on this um, on in the comments because first of all, like I don't really care about the spammers, but YouTube does. If you do like multiple comments, then you will be um, marked as spam from YouTube. So if you want me to see your comment, then please don't um, like copy and paste and copy and paste like the same comment. Like you could um, do multiple, you could say like multiple comments in the comments below, but make sure they're different each time so you won't be marked as spam. Um, and now for the Instagram giveaway, I'm going to be putting the thumbnail on my Instagram and comment down below also why you want to be the Instagram winner and what you're most excited for this uh, spring and also please tell me what other videos I should do and yeah, um, I'm going to be picking the winners randomly. I'm going to just be, to make it fair, I'm going to be using this um, Instagram generator and a Twitter generator and a YouTube generator and basically I put down all the comments like from each one into the generator and it just picks a random and it just picks a winner randomly so that will be fair um and yeah I really hope you like this video once again good luck to everyone and yeah um I will talk to you guys in my next video I love you so so much and yeah bye